Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you enjoyed your Christmases with your family and had a really nice New Year's. I had my birthday, my birthday was last week. Feels weird turning 28. I had an amazing Christmas. I try to live in the moment. I always struggle with trying to do things for, you know, social media. And you know, I always wanna try and involve you guys on Christmas and my birthday. I just really wanted to just be there, like present. That's why I didn't vlog. And and I left you guys for a little bit. I am back. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. I was not motivated whatsoever when it came to the 1st of January. I was so hangover. I drank, I ate so much. I had so much fun. I think this was probably my favorite Christmases out of every single one, just because there was so much love in the family. I was so spoiled, guys, for my birthday. Like, I felt so, so blessed. And even like my client, I received so many like gifts and love and Cards. it really it was like such a wholesome december i had an amazing birthday shout out to my boyfriend he made it so special you guys know that i love food he really did so good i will show you a few images of my birthday if you didn't see i went on a really nice horse meal like a fine dining experience it's definitely on my top three favorite restaurants i've ever been to i was like oh my god you did so good because i did not expect to have a amazing food like that like you don't really get that over here in the uk i do feel good about this year i don't know if you do too we are gonna go out to eat it's one of my hobbies that i just genuinely love to do like i mean who doesn't like eating and i love to try new foods also i want to discover good places to help you guys to find really good food inspirations especially when you have like a special occasion or if you're a foodie like me and you want to try new stuff i'll be here to show you i think this year i just want to prioritize what i love to do is one of my hobbies to you know try new foods today we're gonna go to a mexican restaurant that it's very highly rated on google and you know me i'll only go to your restaurant if it's highly rated i'm gonna show you my fit which i think is quite cozy and cute so we have this Miu, Miu top and this cute little jumper from boohoo i've had it for years but i've honestly never worn it i decided to put a little bit of pink today because i got these new jeans they are from garni they are like the perfect fit and they have like this pink little buttons so i thought why not to just have a little matchy day today and i decided to put my little uggs but yeah that is my fit for today it is honestly very cold this week in london it's going to be minus four degrees i'm like not ready to be that cold when the year started the first thing that i wanted to do unfortunately i didn't record i did do a little tiktok showing how i did it i could not wait to declutter obviously i'm so grateful that i get sent makeup and i get to try stuff I'm a little bit of a hoarder because I can't let go of things that I don't use. It's the weirdest thing. And then you say to yourself, well, I say to myself, oh yeah, one day I'll use it. One day, one day. Babe, that day would never come, <laughs> okay? I learned that if you have not touched it in months, just just let go so i decided to do the biggest makeup clear out and i just want to have a simplistic wardrobe i've been saying this for so long but this year i'm gonna let go of the things that i just don't need i finally organized my vanity and i'm gonna quickly show you how it looks it looks so peaceful and clean and there's no mess in front of me which makes me feel so good because before there was a thousand things and you know when you have so much around you lose everything like you just can't find anything when you've got too much this is my current vanity it is so so cute i got this mirror from amazon honestly it doesn't even sit up it's, it comes by itself but i've decided to put like a mirror behind it it stands a little bit closer to me because i think i'm a little bit blind so when the mirror was too far back i couldn't really see my makeup so i decided to make it nice and close and also this i've had since i've moved in now that there's not too much on top of it it does definitely look way better instead of having like everything in show this desk was the makeup drawer from ikea and this is one of my birthday gifts it's my new louis vuitton makeup bag and my dyson which is another gift obviously i think it looks a little bit messy now but i only have the necessities before it was like full of lipsticks and lip glosses that i would never look at it i'm so happy that i've organized that guys i found this jacket in my wardrobe when I say found, it's just, I know it's been there for so long. I bought this about three years ago. It was like the viral jacket from Zara. It's come in handy in these cold days. I think this is the jacket I'm going to wear today just because 
I need to be warm. You can really like wrap up and make it into a scarf. It just looks so wintry and I just found it in my wardrobe. I'm gonna start wearing this jacket. It looks really pretty as well. I'm gonna head out and I'll see you when I get to the restaurant. different type of honeys and there's one specific honey that has so much vitamins and she bought it for me so I've been really enjoying this type of tea in the morning it really settles your summer yesterday was so nice I'm so glad we're really finding and discovering unique restaurants in London there was a while where we wasn't eating great food in the last two weeks we found some really good restaurants if you really like spicy food and you love wings I highly recommend going to the one we went yesterday Today for sure this video is definitely going to be more like a self-care things to make myself feel really focused 2024 is all about putting myself first i feel like i always try to do that but there's been times where it's up and down in so many things in my life i try and put my head straight and then i get distracted and then i don't get things done so i think this year is just going to be me trying to get things done without no excuses. There's a few things that I hope is gonna help me do it. One of the things is really just having a digital diary and I've spoken about this before and I do try and note things down, but I don't do the other tasks that these digital diaries make you do. Honestly, having a digital diary helps you just plan out and really visualize your plans and your goals. I wanted to show you guys where I get mine from and how you can have this. Obviously you don't really need to have an iPad, but in the case that you do, you wanna take it seriously like I did, there is an app called Good Notes. So I'm gonna show you how you do it. Digital diaries, you can find them here on Etsy. All you need to do is search digital diaries. You will see all types of digital diaries that people have created. It depends on what you like. So all you do really is you click on one and then you purchase it. It will email it to you on your email. And all you do is you download it. What you need to do is download the app called Good Notes. And this is the app that holds the digital diaries and you can see it as a format. I decided to get this one just because it has so many different areas. And as you can see, you can really come up close and you can pick every subject that you want to work on. So for example, if I'm going to do workout log, I will click on it and it will tell you exactly what you need to work on, on your strength, on your reps. So this one really is in depth mood tracker you can track your mood to see how you're going you can put a vision board you can put action plan the one that i had last year was nowhere near as good as this one even this one says like productive menu so you could do like master to-do list 
routine planner and etc and what i loved about this one is like let's say you have a project you write your project down and you don't just write it down it really goes in depth on things that you need to do in order to get to that project makes it really easy even this side it says project deadline days remaining like the deadline and you put everything on here it's so in depth personally it works for me and definitely love it and here is my vision board for my content and i definitely screenshot and i get inspiration even inspiration for my own video i put it there and i literally write repost and i honestly plan everything on here this definitely is part of my 2024 routine even though i definitely tried to do this last year life just gets so busy and you don't make time for even writing your thoughts like i want to start writing down how i feel and it's so so good because you just write it down and you let it go and you go about your life and there's just small little things that i want to do like this i definitely feel like it will help me to achieve everything that you kind of want i also want to take care of my gut health you guys know how much i love juices there's all different type of juices that help your health i really want to get into having like shots in the morning and it is so easy to create these shots I've always loved when I go with Marks and Spencer's or Pret Manger and you get a ginger shot and it costs about three pounds but you can easily make them at home and it's absolutely so good for your gut health. You can't even understand it. And even in these cold, cold days, everyone around me has been getting really ill. I've been blessed because I haven't gotten anything for now and I do really thank the juices that I drink every day. My immune system is so strong, touch wood. It's been so strong. My mum got ill. My boyfriend got ill. Most of my clients come in and they're like stuffy nose and I'm always nervous. Like, oh my God, I can easily get ill. And if I'm ill, everything stops. It's incredible, but I haven't even got ill one. And I just think if you look after your immune system with your health, you won't actually have to go through this. Giving your body the right amount of vitamins, it's so good to keep your immune system strong. I'm going to definitely show you how to do my ginger shots. And I bought everything for them i haven't actually done this before so this is gonna be a new thing for me and i want to start early and get the routine of it and guys one of the gifts that i got the dyson air wrap <laughs> you know i've been talking about like in the last few vlogs i want to really look after my hair not put too much heat on it so this is one tool that doesn't allow your hair to burn completely it's not as harsh as the other ones because it's like with air it doesn't overheat your hair and it doesn't dry it up and i have been using it they do say that the curls don't last but they do last for me and i figured what makes it last this mousse by amika you can get it from space and k it is the perfect body mousse it's for volume but it has something in it that makes the curls last you have to make it in a way where the curls don't get squashed when you sleep. That is the only way that your curls could last. If you want to see my current Dyson routine, I would definitely film that. I had to do a lot of practice with it because it's not as easy as it looks. I'm still getting there, but my hair has felt so much healthier. And also in this video, I'm going to show you one of my routine for my hair to get your hair nourished again and make it grow really long. I really I really did my research when it comes to hair health. This is what I want to do this year. Look after my health, my hair, drink vitamins. We, we're going to be at our best in 2024. You know what I mean? Oh, my little princess is trying to give me a little hug. <laughs> she sits next to me for me to feel her. Say hello to the YouTube on 2024. You're not going to be naughty and you're going to be really nice and not moody. Say hello, look. Say hello. Guys, and you know what? I have news with me, all right? I've decided to make her a mummy. So she's gonna have a little cute little babies. So I'm gonna find her, her mate. So if you have a British short hair that is a male and it's not neutered, please let me know. Because I definitely want to find her a partner. Because I do want her to have little babies. Truly, I want to take one. And I would love to experience that. Is that my child having a child? How crazy is that? <laughs> so this year i'm definitely gonna be a grandma <laughs> that sounds so dumb Love 
comes out it looks like i just went to the hairdressers and i got it done for free basically there's no hair in the brush which means that it doesn't pull out your hair at all this is how you know it's good because there's no hair in there <laughs> it's pretty good it's really impressive don't know why i didn't get it sooner can i just mention looking at that clip before <laughs> what's bugging me is that my top was like this <laughs> so if you see in the clip <laughs> please ignore this color it just looks so bad it is a few hours later my hair is still going strong i'm actually on my way out to get some food shopping charge the car the usual things i need to do definitely gonna go and get the rest of the ingredients for my who is that a package from huda beauty we might as well open it together Good box. Oh, what is this? I love Huda Beauty. She really does come out with the best products. Like, I honestly use so many things of her. Oh, little clips. Pink versus peach hand mirror. I love. I love. Oh, this is the cutest little mirror. Oh my god, how cool is this? So it's a peach and a pink. So they now have a peach setting powder. Let me show you. And a peach snatch bake powder. And they have little peach little love hearts powder puffs. The most popular right now is the peach concealer, which I honestly prefer anything that is peachy on the tone than a pinky on the tone. I feel like pinky is more for more lighter skin tones. I'm a little bit towards this color, so I'm really excited to use this. And then I'll still show you the pink. This is the pink powder, the pink cherry blossom with the pink concealer which i'm very interested to see how pink it is because if it's too pink i don't actually think i can use it oh pink pomelo so it's not actually that pink guys <gasps> an orange undertone oh wow okay i mean i guess it has pink in it maybe i should swatch the other one as well let's review this one so this one is called peach and the other one's called uh, pink pomelo. So I think I'm, I know I'm going to love this color. Orangey undertone. Okay, that is really orange. This is more like to color correct if you have like dark under eyes and then you can maybe correct it with your concealer on top. So I'm really excited to use this. This is such a different concept. Guys, I just got back from food shopping. I just wanted to show you what I kind of get. I don't know why, but I've been watching other YouTubers and I really enjoy seeing what they buy because it kind of gives me an idea of what I can buy as well. You know, it's always good to get ideas, especially when you're trying to cook for yourself or trying to make like different dishes. And we're just going to show you, see if you guys like it as well. I didn't really buy much, but this is what usually what lasts me for a good two, days i do buy a lot of veg and fruit just the usual i buy a lot of strawberries and grapes pink lady apples are like the best sweet apples you can find you can find them in any supermarket that one particular is so so sweet we we'll see some avocado for the salad i thought to get some panini i want to have a good breakfast i want to eat a little bit more put in loads of accessories in here like tomato mozzarella spinach egg would be a great breakfast idea also i love making grapefruit with like you know orange juice i came across this salt and pepper chicken i bought a whole chicken to make tomorrow and i just thought to season it with this i want to try new seasoning just to give my taste buds something new to try and then obviously i always love to get veg selections i love anything green so this time i got a little bit of everything oh, i always love these mediterranean vegetables it comes with like peppers and there's always like a discount so when i see a discount i always grab them they taste so good um with any of your meats you just add vegetables and it will taste amazing i'm not a pasta fan but i did see this pasta with spinach really interesting so this is what we're gonna make with some salmon today hummus which is my favorite and i also got the matching uh, mediterranean pesto um that comes with the, the pasta which i just wanted to try it the oranges and the lemon favorite thing for my salads is probably beetroot and um, that is dipped in vinegar it tastes so good mozzarella cheese for the paninis and 
some eggs. I did get some fish, which is already in the oven because we are really hungry and we just seasoned it. We always show you how we do our salmon. If you want to see the recipe for that, jump back onto my other vlogs. I have shown how to do it. I'm going to do my ginger shots. This is why I went food shopping to get the apples and the carrots and everything for my little ginger shots. Guys, this looks so good. I added the pesto and I added a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of cheese, mozzarella cheese. This looks so good. We made salmon and the fish. We just added pomegranate. I don't know how it's going to taste. I'm making the vegetable. I just added a little bit of soy sauce, some water. When you do your vegetables, add sesame oil and it tastes... Oh. Dinner is looking so good. I'm just, I can't wait to eat that pasta. He is eating big, big. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So the shots that we're going to do today, we're going to do ginger shot with orange, lemon and ginger, a little bit of turmeric. And the other one is the beetroot one with apple and carrots, both so beneficial. Let's just talk about quickly why it's so beneficial. I've had like little notes here. The ginger one, really good for immune system, digestion and also weight loss. The benefits are just insane and I think I'm just doing it more for immune system because I do drink a lot of ginger ginger tea and stuff so this is like a stray vitamin that will keep you alive in this winter that will keep you safe from all these really bad colds that is going around and the other one that is with beetroot loads of athletes actually drink beetroot juice because it's a form of like energy it has a boosting effect it's just a natural kind of energy booster which we drink so many different type of energy boosters like coffee red bull etc like pre-workout i really want to try a natural form to give me some sort of energy we're gonna test it out because we're gonna go gym soon i've got the beetroot ginger lemon apple and my carrots are there you can definitely use a normal juicer any type of machine to do juices but i finally got a real actual juicer i got it for my birthday it's probably one of the best gifts because the struggle i was going through with the other juicer that i would have to sieve it every single time this one you just put the fruit through and it does it all for you and it's super easy to clean it's actually the best thing ever this is the one that i got for my birthday so you put the fruit through this little hole and then you squash it and then it comes straight through this little bit you'll see all the fruit like accumulate in the middle also another thing that you need to buy is the little ginger short containers i got these from amazon i think there's nine of them here so i'm thinking to do half ginger and half beetroot so i can have option and anything that's left and it doesn't fit in the containers the juicer came with this cube where you can put the juice in and freeze it and whenever you want to drink it you unfreeze it i'm definitely going to be using this because sometimes i'll make way too much juice we're gonna do the ginger shots first orange lemon and ginger turmeric a little bit of pepper and we add a bit of water so it's gonna sound really loud i'm gonna mute this part okay smells so strong it smells like pure ginger it smells very earthy i gotta say this is the power juice they say that you need to put a little bit of water so i think i'm gonna do that ah! that tastes like a shot we're gonna put them in the little shot glasses and it's all ready for the mornings beetroot apple carrots and a tiny little bit of turmeric apparently let's just try it we're here making beetroot juice and it's staining the walls <laughs> so amazing okay he just said it for me okay so amazing <laughs> we stained the wall i stained the wall with beetroot so be careful if you do have beetroot just don't be near white wall because it definitely went all over the place it tastes sweet, like beetroot.
few days later, I'm having my breakfast. My boyfriend did this panini with cheese and loads of eggs because I'm trying to make some games nowadays. I'm having like a girl get together day. I do want to continue doing like my self-care stuff. I have so many things that I bought for my hair. I'm not saying my hair is the unhealthiest. I think my hair is pretty healthy. I try to not wash it so regularly. It is getting a little bit dry. I think it's just because of the weather and I want to do anything to keep it going strong. There's loads of recipes that I've seen online. I've always oiled my hair but I haven't took it that seriously. I decided to do some research as well. We're gonna do some good hair care. I think that's what I'm gonna be doing today. One of the reasons why that I've become so healthy and really into my fitness is because of my boyfriend. He motivates me so much. I'm training now with him which means I'm like training like a man. I mean I don't do as heavy as he does but we do the same rep ranges. We have seen the biggest difference. I don't know. I've seen such a big difference in my back, in my legs, and every time I try and like work out on my own, it is a little bit hard to feel motivated, especially when you're like tired. So I'm grateful that I can have a partner that motivates me and helps me to get to my ultimate goal. I've been training since I was 19 years old, and don't get me wrong, I like I know what I need to do because it's been years, but it's all about pushing yourself to like that extra limit to see a difference in your body. So obviously he makes me do that. When we did legs last week, I was in so much pain. The front of my legs were just feeling like so sore. And it was just because we did like a tweak of difference in our workout. I would love to know what kind of struggles you guys have when it comes to your health or like your fitness journey. Cause I would love to help you guys out, but it's just, I would love to know what in what aspect because we, we're all really different like for me i enjoy eating good and i find it fun and even gym it's like almost like a hobby what's your struggle what's your struggle what's your struggle oh what's my struggle one of my struggles and i'm gonna be honest is i get to a level where i'm really happy with my body and i'm like feeling good about it and because i've got to that level it's like i can't be bothered any anymore even though i go gym i still do mini workouts but i'm like oh yeah whatever but that mentality your gains are just gonna disappear like literally even like mentally you're like oh i can't be bothered i can't be bothered my goal is to not have that mentality always continue having that good momentum and still trying to feel motivated in any aspect of life because when you feel comfortable you fall back and comfortability sometimes is not good especially as we're aging i just turned 28 i'm two years away from 30 and things don't always go back to the way it was when we were like 19 18 years old and for the young girlies that follow me enjoy your youth as much as you can because i know i'm not old i'm still in my 20s if you think about it i was 18 10 years ago even with my business my you by natsaline so many clients are like oh my god like i've been your client for 10 years i'm like 10 years time has flown like in the blink of an eye it's just like gone so quickly while you're young enjoy because time does fly also i've decided to chop the ends of my eyebrows i don't know if i'm regretting it or loving it i don't know if you can see but like i decided to like make it go out then go downwards it's a little bit of a trend in my salon at the moment everyone is asking for that that eye lift kind of brow and I decided to do it on myself this week. It really does lift your eye. Like, I'm not even touching it. It almost looks like I'm going like this. I'm not really sure. I feel like without makeup, it looks a little bit wrong. But you guys let me know if you think this shape suits me. I was actually looking at some old pictures of my old eyebrows when I was probably like 20. It was so random. I decided to just go on my mom's. Have you guys ever gone on your mom's chat on WhatsApp and then scroll all the way up to like the old photos? Because you always send your mom like, you know, memorable things. I mean, I do. I went on holiday years. I, I haven't deleted the chat since. And there's some old pictures here. <laughs> it was like my signature eyebrow before. Very arch, very thick. I don't know. Guys, let me know what you think. <laughs> Missy, what are you doing on the table? You're flirting with him again? Huh? Little flirty?
it's time to do my rosemary recipe this is the reality of making content at the same time vlogging my boyfriend's here holding the light and then i've got the tripod ready to do a mini tiktok all you need before i forget to show you guys is rosemary i actually bought the little plant so i can continue growing it then i bought this boiling glass from amazon i can link it all down below if you want to so we're gonna add cloves which apparently is really really good for the hair and i also bought my favorite oils i also want to like kind of mix it with my oil in the last clips i did my own rosemary oil with avocado oil i mean you could buy it but i decided to make it i didn't show you guys instantly on that day because they say it's best if you leave it soaking so the rosemary actually brings all the vitamins and stuff so this has been sitting since last week tuesday it's currently wednesday so it's been more than a week i'm gonna show you how it looks and this is how it's looking after a week they say you you should leave it even soaking for 20 days i want to use it as soon as possible i'm actually going to mix my own like recipe so what i decided to do with the rosemary oil i'm going to add a little bit of airy oil that i've ever used and apparently is really good for your hair as well i got a few from the hair shops jojoba oil this one smells so good um obviously black castor oil i've spoken about this in my other vlog also peppermint oil it just goes well with the rosemary almond oil which is so good for the hair i'm gonna mix it all up small amount and then we make our own recipe for the oil you have to buy this i got it from amazon it is the best to oil your hair so instead of like kind of doing it with your fingers this has its own comb and the oil comes out of it and then you kind of comb it through your roots really spreads it out evenly instead of you know you put oil in your hair and it's only one side and the others don't this is more for like the roots of your hair and then it comes also with the stimulating brush which is really good to massage your roots so you get growth on your hair this little combo is really really good for the rosemary water it's more for the girlies that don't want oily hair 24 7 i don't mind because i'm used to having a routine when my hair's been oiled i do hairstyles you can just use it as um you know like a spray in your hair it won't make your hair greasy it's easy to use every day i decided to buy a continuous spray bottle this one i got from the the hair shop but they do sell this on amazon so once i do this water i'll put it in my bathroom and i can just spray it whenever i want these are the three little items that i decided to buy for my hair recipes all you need to do is make sure you cut a few stems from the rosemary and i will wash it thoroughly because you need to take as much of the dirt and every residue that the plant has i'll do that real quickly and make sure it's with cold water So I've put water in it, I'm going to let it boil. When it starts boiling, that's when you put the cloves and the rosemary. And I'll show you how it's going to look. You're supposed to let it boil for at least 20 minutes. Once you see the water turn like brownish, that means it's kind of ready. They say that you should leave it setting for about two hours. So it keeps kind of developing. I might do that. While it's boiling, I'm going to tell you some tips when you apply it. The first one is... When when you apply it don't rinse out your hair straight away it's always good to leave it soaking in so it really does work also definitely do this every single day for you to see the difference it's not going to work if you do it here and there and you kind of forget it has to be like brushing your teeth in the morning you know it's like a must it's going to be really really helpful and beneficial for your hair if you do it every single day i'm definitely going to do like before and after pictures to see if the, there is a difference if my hair grew faster if it's more shiny Shiny, and I will definitely keep you updated, show you if this really, really works. So this is already done. I'm not going to boil it completely just because they say if you boil it, you're going to be taking out all the minerals. The nutrients could potentially go. I boiled it for about 10 minutes instead of 20. Honestly, and tie up to you how long you want to boil it. I think my idea is, is for it to soak overnight. So it really brings out all the nutrients. I'm going to put that to a side and I'm going to move on to the oil bit. The one that I've been soaking for a week already. I'm going to put in the hair oil bottle. This 
this is what it's looking like. Let me show you. It's very green and it smells very, very strong. But I'm going to do a little bit of every oil. We're just going to do one little spoon. I'm going to start off with my favorite oil, which is jojoba. And it smells so good. So I might put a little bit more of this. One spoon. And then we're going to do almond oil. A little bit more of this one. Black castor oil. This is a thick one, so I'm not going to put too much of this. Sweet. Ooh, peppermint smells so good. Argan oil. Oh, and mix this together. And now we're just going to add it. Can I just say it smells so good? Let's just add this. I really, oh, I really hope this fills the whole bottle up, which I don't think it will. But we can always make more. Just about. Our customized rosemary oil with a bit of everything for our hair. Okay, I could not wait any longer. That's how cool this little comb is. Put it all through your hair. It is actually so good. Even when I used to oil my hair, I could never get like the back of my head right here in this space. And it's so good. Oh my God, it feels amazing. One thing I definitely use is I brush this through when I'm shampooing my hair. So it really does like a deep cleanse. Now that it's oiled, it is ready for the week. Time to eat. Honestly, I we couldn't be bothered to cook today. We decided to order some food from Nando's because cooking as much as i've been loving cooking and we enjoy it so much like we cook together and it's actually so good for like our relationship sometimes we can't be bothered and the healthiest option is probably nando's it's grilled chicken we love it it's cheap as well the usual is we get paratema chicken this looks so good if you haven't tried paratema chicken it's basically a barbecue sauce that nando's actually offers i didn't know they had it until like honestly not too long ago you can use it on your whole chicken it's usually not on the menu right is it on the menu corn you know my favorite this is probably my <laughs> favorite favorite veg and then he got some spicy rice and some chips we made vegetables we can't miss veg in our meals what time did you get out of time sir it's now time to go to the gym it is currently like 9 p.m we are running a little bit late we still have to go i'm gonna do my beetroot shot they are all finished they lasted two days i mean i think fan really liked them and he was like he actually went gym in the in the morning so he took a few i feel like i'm gonna do a bigger batch because they're all gone now but let's have this shot natural energy <sighs> I gotta be honest though, I do prefer the beetroot over the ginger shots. I don't know why. Beetroot has such a nice taste. Well, what did we put in it? We put loads of apples, didn't we? I feel like it tastes more of the apple than the beetroot. Yeah, and the beetroot is quite sweet, which I didn't really think of it. To be frank, I took one. When I did take it, I went to the gym. I did actually get kind of energy. Like, I had a really good workout. Let's go gym. The thing is, I every time I'm like, okay, I'm gonna bring you guys to the gym, I really would love to just talk to you and like explain what I'm doing but the gym has such loud music i'm gonna get copyrighted it's gonna be hard for you for you to even listen to what i'm saying i need to figure out what i can use for this camera so i can still speak over the music without hearing the music maybe a microphone that might be my next investment for my youtube family because it's not every day doing voiceovers <laughs> and putting music in the background because i know you guys want to know exactly what i'm doing let me show you my gym fit i'm wearing this hoodie from boohoo man they have have really good stuff even though it's for men where everything's kind of big so yeah i love this hoodie these are like no face tracksuit bottoms but underneath is my gym shorts and everything ready for the gym you just gotta cover up because it is very cold <laughs>
the day. So I'm now gonna sieve it in the spray bottle. I just wanna show you how it looks inside. It's been about a week now. They say to do it for a few days, but I decided to leave it in. I am just gonna sieve it in a cup that has one of these and pour it all out. So we only get the water and the rosemary stays in here. And then we just put it in the bottle. It's all ready to use and I'm going to put this in the shower.